Hey, the older we get, the more we learn. Wise. Or the more we know we don't know. You know? Oh my gosh. I just, I keep seeing new supplements that I have to take. <laughs> you know, I'm like, yeah. how is there something not, that I haven't heard of before? Not that are just interesting, but you're With, like, oh my God, I have to be on yes, I have like, to be using this that. This is the end all be all, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So what we want to talk about today might be really interesting to, to you. And you may already know all of this. You may know more about it than we do. Yeah. And good for you. Yeah. Um, but if you don't know about it, we implore you to do, do some research, especially if you have children and grandchildren. This is really important information. Yeah. So um, um, tooth decay. When, when, I, when I was growing up, we grew up, in, as far as tooth decay goes and this kind of thing, we grew up almost polar opposites. You know, you, yeah. were in a house, you were in a home where that kind of thing was mandatory. It was important. Mouth, you know, oral care, hygiene. I got fluoride. All that stuff Every was important. Every six months, I think, when I was a kid. And my teeth were rotting. And it was a damn tragedy. You know, as soon as I got my permanent teeth, yeah. they, were, they were rotting. Okay. Well, we know, they know, everybody knows a lot more about this. And here's the thing that we didn't understand. Did you know that tooth decay is not like a sugar caused problem. It is an infection. It's a bacterial infection. It's a bacterial infection. Yes. Wrap, wrap <clears throat> your head around that um, if you haven't heard this yet. Yeah. But yeah, it's streptococcus right. <laughs> mutans. It's just, it's a bacterium that you you become infected with and it, it in the end causes your teeth to rot. And there's a, it's a series of things that happens. Um, yeah. But but what happens is sugar does feed that bacteria exactly yeah and it helps it to colonize on your teeth yes so this so what you really have is an infection when they say you're infected and in, in, in this in in your body systemically that's in your blood and tissue there's an infection right yeah but in your mouth it's the infection is is, is specific it's it's the stuff we call tartar or plaque oh yeah plaque yeah you know. It's not actually a substance, it's an infection. It's not a, it's not it's a- It's like an alive- It's like a living a bacteria. bacterial colony. Think, alive. <laughs> think of, uh, think of, I like to think of a coral reef, which yeah. is a good thing, yeah. right? But it's a colony of, of like lime and different minerals that, and living organisms. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what this is. So, so what we have read and heard and, and, and learned is that it, it uses the sugars and creates this film. It, it eats the protective layer off of your teeth, right? Eventually, that, that's, that's the yeah. byproduct of this, but it's consuming in these uh, carbohydrates and sugars and things. And multiplying. And multiplying, it's feeding on them. Mm -hmm. um, so that is what is causing tooth decay. Isn't that interesting? And all the, the people that we've been reading and, and listening to are saying, that you may not need all of these dental cleanings that you're getting. You may be cleaning off the protective layer. Yes, yes. So you also get a film, protective film, on your teeth from the good bacteria. So right. there's literally hundreds of bacteria, bacterium in your mouth, mm -hmm. the, uh, different varieties of mm -hmm. bacteria. Like 900 different yeah. kinds. Yeah, and, the, and this it's happens crazy. to be a very bad one, this uh, yeah. strep so, mutans. But, yeah. um, so know that, knowing, you know, knowledge is power. Um, so if you know there's a way to counter this, and it's not just getting your teeth cleaned, and if you need to get this stuff cleaned off, by all means get it cleaned. Well, yes, if you have plaque, then you need your regular cleanings, if it keeps building back up. Right. But if you don't have it, you don't need to get the And cleanings. if you get it and you have this strep mutans, it's just, you, you get it cleaned off, but then it's it just going right to come back. right back. It grows right, right. back. So unless, unless you take care of it. You take care of it. And how do you take care of it? How do easily. You, easily. You take xylitol after every meal. You take or you use. Now, see, what we're do a little you, unclear about like that. You put it in that. your mouth probably and swish it around. So, or... so xylitol is also a sugar, but it, it is a very low glycemic in, index, right? Mm -hmm. So it's actually it a, a safe sugar, sugar, and they say it might actually be good for you. A lot of this stuff needs further research, obviously, because yeah. we 
that like it's just like we feel like the more we know the more we realize we don't know mm -hmm. same with scientists and doctors they keep learning it's all questions right so <laughs> so xylitol is uh from is it like from a plant or a birch tree, birch tree yeah. um, but supposedly if you take the sugar and we don't know if you would, should, should chew gum xylitol gum i don't know because that might not have other chemicals in it you don't need to be doing that I don't know. Maybe not good for your jaw, and I, I, I've never been, I've never been a real fan of chewing gum. I, don't know. I used to love. <laughs> you used to chew gum. it all the time, every day. And your whole face structure was different. Yeah. Your your muscles were more developed than your jaw, and your and it changed the shape of your face when you stopped chewing gum. Your your features were softer. Oh, nice. And you got prettier when you stopped chewing gum. Oh, anyway, that's so sweet. So, and I wasn't like. <laughs> all day, yeah. Every day. yeah, you just had it back there and you would kind of work it around, work it yeah. like, your, like your cud. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I, was, I didn't Sorry. like it. Sorry yeah. about that. Well, it was only 20 years or so. <laughs> so but I did have minty fresh breath. That's excellent. You did. You always I still do. do. <laughs> so a lot of these doctors at, who are in the know and these scientists say that you... You take this xylitol, however you take it, maybe a drop or some grains of, of this. It's just exactly like sugar. Like sugar. It's a crystalline product. Put some of that in your mouth after a meal, after you've eaten carbs and sugars and things, and let it sit. Don't, don't uh, wash it out or drink it away or eat, eat something right away. Just let that sit in your mouth and work, the way, work its way around in your, your saliva. Uh -huh. and, uh, it protects your teeth. It, well, what it will do is feed the good the, bacteria. It'll feed all of the bacteria, yeah. right? Uh -huh. But it will feed the bad bacteria, the 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 mutans, the strep mutans. But it it's not what it needs. It can't really metabolize it and make use of it as an oh, energy source. Right, right, that's right. So it can't use it as yeah. a fuel to thrive. So it slowly dies off. And then if you keep doing this month after month, so supposedly like six months down the road, you've killed all the generations and the, and the new seeding, you know. And all of a sudden you don't have plaque anymore. You're not building a exactly. plaque on your teeth. And you have, so you don't need to get a cleaning. And the good back, this is just like your gut. You, you have all these biomes, you know, this is, what, what could we call this, the oral biome? I don't yep. know. Yeah, oral it, microbiome. Your, your gut, cool. like I had an overgrowth of... Uh, SIBO. SIBO and an overgrowth of H. pylori. H. pylori. Thank you, Dr. Gunner. <laughs> in my gut, in, in my in my stomach, I had the H. pylori and in my in my small intestine, intestine I had the SIBO. Uh -huh. And so you kill that off with different, and there's holistic ways of doing it. I mm -hmm. use uh, oregano Second. for the SIBO, SIBO. and yeah. we're about to treat that. But, the, but it, suffice it to say, you've got the same thing going on there where you've got the good and the bad and and in your gut, maybe the the good are fighting the bad, and the, and the bad bacteria kind of overpopulate, mm -hmm. and you don't want that. You want to, no, you want the yeah. balance. Yeah, you for want sure. Less of the bad. So this is the same thing going on in your mouth. Really interesting. Yeah. It's interesting to learn that. I feel, again, knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. And these people, it's 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 at least good to know that hey your grand if you if you see that your grandkids got a cavity you tell your your kids hey you know tommy might need uh need to have xylitol, a xylitol and stop it. eating so much sugar mm -hmm. and yes so sugar yes does cause cavities but it's the f it's because it helps that bacteria it's because to it feeds the bacteria that yeah. actually causes so it really yeah. doesn't cause the cavities it's just supporting the, the the bad guys mm -hmm. yeah so what else fluoride fluoride i've it's heard a, so many different things like fluoride is complex it's good for your teeth my mom swore by fluoride and it did all great grown up in my teeth Smile i first. never had a cavity um until i was 40 something and it was just like a tiny it wasn't a cavity it was like a just yeah. a little indentation in, yeah yeah. And so they just kind of filled that over. So fluoride but, um, is but then, good. But then but they also over, say it's not good for your overuse of it can be bad. Memory. Yeah. And but, oh, but and they arguable. say that it can lead to Alzheimer's, but then they also say it may have a protective 
factor for Alzheimer's. Exactly. So it's complex and we need to do more research. Yes. And please feel free to comment, leave your, share your info below yeah. um, and, and educate us and others. Yeah. But for now, we just think fluoride is very complex. We think it's both good and can be detrimental. Mm -hmm. So I get, I, I, it could be one of those situations where a little is good, but a lot is bad. Like when growing up, uh, it was in our water. Okay. So that's people drinking it all day, every day. So yeah. that's, I don't know. Overexposure. I don't know. Yeah, I think that I think that's overexposure. too much. Yeah. So talk about the, uh, what is it, was anecdotal thing you had, you were telling me about remineralizing. My, my dentist told oh, me, yeah, my yeah. dentist said, I've seen kids come in here who had decay and they started brushing. We would give them different fluoride toothpaste. They started taking care of their teeth and they remineralized and see he said I would see this kind of black he said he saw it on my tooth oh there's a tooth back here a crown uh -huh. and there's a black line uh -huh. around it uh -huh. you see it yeah and he said I th he's always poking it every time I go in for an exam he said I'm just checking that because it looks like the case that it's not he said I think it's remineralized Wow. Uh, area under your crown that had been yeah. decaying and is not. Interesting. And so, oh, another interesting thing is that the it, it has a lot to do with a socioeconomic stratum. Like oh, where yeah. you are. Like I was poor kid. Poor kid tend poor kids tend to have ro more rotten. Because more they have. Decay. I wonder if it's because they have less fluoride. Or too much too sugar, much sugary, too, too much sugary foods, like their parents aren't cooking. Processed right. foods. Exactly. Yeah. TV dinners and crap yes. like that. Yes. But what were you saying about? Oh, so there was a guy, I can't remember where I read this, but he lived in, I want to say Switzerland or Sweden. France. I think he went to Doesn't France. Matter. Anyway, so um, during COVID, he had to leave for some reason. I think his job maybe. And where he lived, he couldn't get this milk that he always drank from, that he used to get from a farm down the street. In his little village. Or yeah, whatever. in his village. Yeah. And his teeth started rotting. He was getting cavities and just, wow. yeah. And then... That seems so abrupt to live your life. I know. And you're well, so he and... couldn't get the milk. So yeah. he was drinking just regular milk from the store. Or like this new he was probably kind drinking of milk that they're saying milk. is really good for you. Whatever. Ultra it's pasteurized. Not. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And, Don't get me started um, on the raw milk thing. Yeah, yeah. We all, crazy. we all, I would, I raw would be drinking. So good for you. We're me. not allowed to say that. But, the, but he was drinking the raw milk from his farm down the street. Anyway, he couldn't get it. He was drinking this other. His teeth started rotting. He gets to go back, move back to his house, and starts getting that milk again. And it actually recalcified his teeth. That's and, awesome. and like, before they could fill, do fillings and stuff. So he probably was fixed. scheduled to go get fillings. Yes. Yeah. He went in to get him filled, and the dentist was like, you don't have any cavities. Wow. It's so crazy. I, I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. So, right. there's something in, in fresh raw milk that will yeah. help your teeth. We too. drink, we love to drink uh, raw so goat's heard. milk. <laughs> um, there was a big problem, I don't know, 60 years ago or whenever, when they were, selling, they were, they were outlawing raw milk and people sell farms selling raw milk. Haven't they done that recently? <clears throat> well, because people yeah. were not using, always using the best practices. There weren't standards. So then all of a sudden there was this push to, for homogenization, mm -hmm. for uh, yeah, pasteurization. Yeah. Oh, pasteurization. Yeah. So they had to pasteurize your, your milk, heat it to a certain temperature or whatever for yeah. a prolonged period of time. So that kills off. Kill off all the good stuff. Yeah. All the stuff that and you really need. And some of the bad stuff. And some of the bad stuff. <laughs> but uh, it, when we are not rec we are not telling you what to do. We're just saying yeah. that people who use raw milk tell us, and I use raw milk, they tell us as long as it's done properly and bottled and quickly contained and doesn't have it opportunity to to be introduced to bacteria and, right yeah then it's good you know refrigerated quickly mm -hmm. right so anyway but we don't we don't know we're not we're not uh, farmers or scientists we're just sharing we're just speculators what we heard we, we're just some people <laughs> that hear some stuff and re regurgitate it and we're like hey that's really hey, cool did we you need know? to tell everybody <laughs> anyway we wanted to share that with you and dental health helps. is so important so in summary to your 
later years. In summary, tooth decay is not sugar decay. It is an infection. It is an oral infection. Mm -hmm. And if you know somebody who has any kind of periodontal disease, they should learn this information yes. too. So xylitol. So yep. xylitol. And another thing about xylitol is dogs cannot have it because it can kill them. Right. So you have to make sure that it doesn't get anywhere near your pets. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. There's a lot of things that are detrimental to dogs, yeah. but we'll talk about that some other time. But so, so tooth decay is a bacterial infection. It's a disease. And um, the xylitol may be the answer. There may be some other things. We, we'll have to learn more about um, salivarius. Mm -hmm. That helps feed the good bacteria in and your And then mouth. there's also the hydroxyapatite stuff. You can, <laughs> you can buy these capsules of salivarius. What, what is that called? Uh, an enzyme? Salivarius? It's a probiotic. Probiotic. You can, I have some in the refrigerator. You can open the capsules and pour the powder onto your teeth mm -hmm. and it helps feed or grow. That's to make but, you have good breath and, <clears throat> and make it so you don't brush your teeth. But I, yeah. I just But if you're interested, can't get into that. look up salivarius. <laughs> it's spelled just like it sounds, salivarius. Yeah. So check that out as well. Uh, we hope you're edified. We hope you will uh, research and learn more about yeah. this yourself. It's pretty it's pretty cool. I mean, take, things take a while to work their way through society. You know, mm -hmm. I, I didn't know that. I didn't learn all this, and apparently they've known it since the 70s. But a lot of dentists still believe the old way that they were. Yeah, why is that? That's the way it is. It's just, it's just yeah. status quo. You know, they keep yeah. giving you that mouthwash that you shouldn't be using. Yeah. That stuff that's killing all the good bacteria in your right. mouth. Don't use that stuff. Use yeah, stuff that feeds the bacteria. Yeah. Like salivarius. Yeah. Like xylitol. Anyway, um, anything else? Nope. All right. That's it. <laughs> that is our talk about tooth decay today. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time.